Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 14 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned how to install Bootstrap framework in Angular applications. We learned the two different ways that we can include Bootstrap in Angular applications. We got it up and running and this is how it looked. We just added a navbar component and we used some of the Bootstrap classes. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to use Angular material with Angular applications. <coughs> in most uh, cases, I would say 80% of the time, you would end up using Angular material with Angular applications. That's purely just by my experience that I have seen at very large enterprises using Angular application. They prefer to use Angular material. So let's go ahead and learn how to install and use Angular material in Angular applications. This is part eight of the series. Before we start coding, I'll request you to kindly check out the Angular full tutorial playlist. If you have any doubts, need job support, training, help, write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Thank you in advance. If you are a beginner starting to learn Angular, I would request you to kindly check out all the episodes in the playlist so that you have continuity in your learning and you master Angular end-to-end -end with me. T today we are learning how to install Angular material in Angular application. So the fastest way to install Angular material is using the ng command. We, will, we have seen this command in the Angular CLI tutorial. If you have missed that out, so please do check it out. Today we are learning about let this new command which is ng add at the rate angular slash material will install the angular material for us. Let's get started with the coding. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to reset the changes that we did in the last episode so that you don't get confused and I'm doing it right here with you because I want you to know what changes. So we just reverted angular.json so there is no bootstrap anymore and once we I told you every time you make changes to angular.json, make sure that you rebuild the application. So now we should not see that the bootstrap installed or anything like that. So see, it's gone because bootstrap is nowhere now. All right, perfect. So let's close this and now let's run the command ng add at the rate angular slash material. Now this will check the compatibility and will get the latest angular version material version. Now it is saying, do you want the package will install Angular 7? Do you would like to proceed? Yes. <coughs> so, one <coughs> so once it has checked the packages, everything, it will then install and so it says keyword ID schema not supported because if you see this message, right? Now I intentionally am showing you this message because what it means is that your version of the angular and material is different and it's not matching so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say install angular material 14 that means install the version 14 so remember whenever you see such message which says keyword id use id schema not supported it means that your versions of angular and angular material or any package for that matter is different I'm going to use um, whichever color you would like to use, deep purple, amber, purple, green, right? So select anything, that's fine. And just click yes for now. Include an annotations, yes. And it will update the package and install the Angular material for us. All right, so now you can see that it has done a couple of updates uh, to some files. For one, it has included in the styles, the global styles, if you see, right? It has added the Roboto font, which is basically Angular's font, default font. It has also updated angular.json, which is where we updated when we changed uh, Bootstrap. And also it updated index.html to get the fonts and all the Google API fonts. You see here Roboto material icons, all of that, whatever is required for us to work with Angular material is installed successfully and updated, right? Now let's run this and we can close this file for now and let's go to app component and delete all of this because this was all bootstrap related code for now. Just save it and we should now just 
it's compiled but you will not see any output because we don't have anything yet okay it's empty so let's throw in a h1 and say installing angular material in angular okay so now you should see a heading okay so I'm going to go to the documentation that's where you should start okay and then you can go to components for now I'm going to take the most basic thing and go to code and just copy this and say button primary okay I'm just throwing in a matte button primary and let's see if that font is got added so now you don't see the matte button because we need to include that module separately okay so how do we do that we go to app module and then we will add all the required modules import them here okay so I'm going to show you a quick one but we'll cover this in detail so don't worry about it for now all you need to know is that this is the code that you will require okay and then I'm going to go to my TS and okay got it all right now I'm going to just use an example here go to the just a code and open the code here in the TS we are going to import that button okay <coughs> all right uh, title so for that let's open this fork and copy that matte button styles okay so you will see material modules this is an important file I'll cover this in the next episode or so but for now all you need to do copy this and bring it down to your file and create a new um, file okay in the inside the app and call it material dot module dot ts okay don't worry too much about it if you're not following this one all we will cover this as and when we get there okay so now I'm adding that material module and I'll just import it quick fix done and save it let it build so I will cover all of this so for now today all I wanted to know was that we have used ng add command to install angular but this I'm doing a little extra to go one step ahead and show you how it looks so you see here now it is showing up the colors that we would like right so I'm going to use a basic button and use it with um, say something like raised button right so matte raised button that's what we will use um, okay and we will write instead of matte button we'll write matte raised button so now you would say different layout so this is how it comes so that means it's applying the basic style it applied the font here if you see this is Roboto font and it applied so basically it means that our angular application is now ready we installed angular material successfully and it's ready to start using okay that's all you should know in this episode because we will take baby steps step by step we will learn and master it okay that's all you should know about in today's episode in the next episode I'll start covering about the angular concepts first what you saw me do adding some modules into the TS into the component I'll cover all of that high level then we start digging deep into all those concepts with hands-on coding I hope you're enjoying this series I hope you're excited I hope you're learning uh, do let me know if you have any questions comments if something is not working reach out to me in the comments section I'll be more than happy to help you if you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. See you in the next episode.